Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Kadidi. I just got back on a, from a long walk with my course, so you guys, this dude, oh my God, he's so heavy. He's not, what is he? Four months, just turned four months, and um, he's just a big fella. He can, he's he's just a big strong guy. And what I like to say about it, if you're gonna have these kind of breeds like this, um, speaking as a former health inspector or whatever that's worth, in the city in Milwaukee, your ass will be fine if you do not have your dog on a leash. A lot of y'all feel that, you know, it's acceptable to just um, let your dog drag you down the street, which I find very offensive, not only to the owner, but to the dog as well. The dogs are pack animals, and there's no way in the world you should let a bully breed lead you. Dogs only respect leadership, and if you don't have it, they're not going to respect it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a problem for the neighborhood. And usually... That's what happens in a lot of these um, urban or areas, or as Brother Walter say, niggerville. <laughs> um, but what I wanted to come on here briefly to talk about is um, I got a comment in my email. I, I wasn't going to address it on my page, actually, on a uh, comment about Joe Jackson and that. You know, just some of the vitriol that a lot of you have for a joke. Listen, I want to make this clear, and I want to state my case and not sound hypocritical, because I realize that a lot of people are in recovery, and they're dealing with the abuse of abuse in parents. Um, however, the problem I have with is that most of y'all stop right there. Because at some point, you have to get to the point where you have to forgive your parents, um, you have to love your parent, and then you realize it was only because of their deficiencies that they made it so rough on you. And once you understand that, it's a process. Because you got to be angry first. You can't just skip that phase. Of it. However, when you go around talking about, like, Bette Midler, um, that you wish Joe was glad he's dead or celebrating his death, um, first of all, Bette Midler, Cause you my you my you you in my age group. Let me just say this: I think you were a, a really low down bitch for saying something like that about Joe Jackson. Second of all, if y'all don't want to deal with the origins of beatings and where them came from, because black people used to didn't beat ourselves. We didn't beat each other like that until we came in contact with you, which is the European. So y'all the ones to start all that barbaric beating and beating slaves and hanging and lynching and skinning slaves and being real evil and cruel. And so, yes, I do take offense when a white person has the nerve to get on my page and talk about the abuse of Joe Jackson. Because um, that was in the past, like a lot of y'all say. So if it was in the past, then let's treat it as if it was the past. Joe's kids went on to fun, uh, find financially emotional success in a capitalist society. I think it's wonderful. Every family did a business. And I think it's wonderful. The means justify the ends. <laughs> well, the end, I mean, I'm sorry, the end justify the means, in my opinion. Because in white history, you beat black people to justify a means to get you to be the richest country in the world. You've never apologized. The inhabitants that benefit off of the wealth of my ancestors, y'all never apologize for that. You're not talking about the beatings and the lynchings and the burnings that we exemplify, but yet and still you got the nerve and the arrogance to get up here and talk about Joe Jackson. <laughs> oh my God. And so I had to check a few white women in that regard, which I hate to do because I mean, no, not so much I hate to check a white woman. I hate that people are so blind that they could inject themselves in situations but not look at the whole picture. So unless you're willing to talk about the beatings 
that the master beater did to the slave and created all this beating and abuse and um, drama in that order. Unless you are willing to deal with that aspect of our history, please don't talk about Joe Jackson's past. Because if I was to judge you on the merit of your past, you would be standing like you'd be standing like a filthy rag. Because there's nothing clean about how you built America on black and brown bodies, and you beat them. <laughs> so let's let Joe rest in peace. Uh, I'm sure his family, the ones who were beaten by him, forgive him, and that's another stage of their healing process that they have to go through. So as far as me being racist or anything like that, this is not meant to be a racist statement. Um, this is a statement I'm saying sincerely from my heart. White people, when you decide to make comments about abuse and people being beat and castrated and all those things like that, check your history and see that you've never apologized for the beating and the lynching and the castration that you still do to this day and take people, kids, and sell them and give them and separate them from their families. I don't hear anybody uh, making that a bad uh, uh, talking about that. Because if you don't think that yesterday affects today, then you're sadly mistaken. The reason this country is in the situation and in the, in the, in the uh, conditions that is is because you don't want to deal with the past. Okay? I've seen Joe Jackson dealing with his past. I saw him come on reality show to some degree, talk to LaToya, she asked him why they could never call him daddy. Uh, he addressed that little situation. She told how she hates calling him Joseph all through time. Time heals all wounds. Okay? Only if you are a black person. Our wounds don't seem to be killed because uh, uh, healed because every time we do something, you're trying to snatch the scab off again. You're constantly snatching the scab off whenever you get a little uh, healed. So... Please don't come on my page and say anything about Joe Jackson because I'm going to check you. I'm going to check you because I think you're wrong. And if you if you have a, a past that is spotless and squeaky clean and you've never insulted, you've never hurt, you've never done anything because you're walking around here in a glorified body, then yes, please make a comment. Other than that, the rest of y'all can kick rocks. If you got that kind of shit to say about Joe Jackson, don't come on this page. And spilling your venom here. And if you're mad at your daddy, straighten your shit out with your pop. Leave your venom where it belongs. Because Joe didn't raise your ass. You got no reason to be sitting up here, especially Bette Midler, wanting some glad somebody's dead. You sorry, big waterhead woman. How dare you? You know, I'm going to get off this because I'm getting a little off subject now. And I'm taking it a little bit too personal. But with that being said... I just wanted to address that um, because I think a lot of y'all missing a point. Yes, I think Joe Jackson has some issues, like we all do. We take them out on our children. A lot of us have done that in the past. A lot of us are still guilty of it to this day. Okay? And you do it with less and for less. And your kids still go home at night with an empty belly. See you next video.